what up my dudes and welcome to another episode check this out man the boat is like frozen solid that's all ice what welcome to florida where it's winter time at like 6 a.m and summer time at 7 a.m so i'm trying to get one last fishing trip in today melanie and i are headed to napa valley on sunday and uh we're, we never took a honeymoon last year and so we're going to take our honeymoon we're going to go to napa for a week and just kind of uh spend christmas out there so the goal today is to get out here and catch as many fish as we can possibly catch because uh, i won't be fishing for probably the next uh, seven days something like that so i'm headed back up the river today guys and the uh, reason that i'm running so many river uh making so many river videos right now is because of the time of the year uh this time of year and you'll see throughout my channel my channel is very seasonal i do uh I go wherever the fish are biting in our area, and right now I'm having better luck in the river than I'm that I have out uh, like on Pensacola Bay or off the beach. And I haven't been able to get off the beach lately because of the wind. Now today's video is sponsored by Carl's Bait and Tackle. If you're not familiar with Carl's Bait and Tackle, they're an online retailer. Uh, they're one of my go-tos for um, online lures and products. They have a little bit of everything there, and you can check them out. They'll be linked in my description. Uh, I'm actually going to fish with a, one of the lures that. I got off the site and this is a Rapala Husky Jerk uh, here and this is a great little uh, lure this time of year in the river because it kind of mimics these mullet that are flashing and stuff like that. So I'm going to start in this little river mouth right here and kind of work my way back. All right first cast of the day right here. It's one of my little favorite striper corners. Oops I just almost broke my rod. Man, we got super low tide this morning. Let's see if we can get us a, a, just put a fish in the boat, okay? Usually the first fish that I put in the boat on every river trip is like a just small trout. Um, sometimes it's a good trout. Yep, right there. Oh my God, he's all What? Okay. <clears throat> That's funny. So guys, what I'm doing is I'm just riding along this bank and I'm casting the ledge but I'm looking for fish up on this bank. And I think my best bet at being successful today is gonna be sight fishing. We've got super low water, super clear water, a high sun. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna ride and I'm looking and that's it, man. I'm gonna look for redfish and, and trout and stripers. Oh, there he is, fish on, fish on, fish on. All right, all right, what are we working with here? Uh, all right, yeah, what I tell you guys, first fish of the day is a little trout, trout ski. Pretty little trout though. Oh, see ya, sorry. Man, I don't know if I've ever seen it this shallow up here. This is insane. I have hardly ever been able to see the bottom right here. Oh my gosh, there's a huge redfish right here, guys. Oh my gosh, what? I just screwed the pooch on that one, guys. I completely screwed up. Huge redfish sitting right there. And I ran right over the top of them like a moron. What? That could be another one sitting up here too. I'm about to find out. Yep, it sure is. Man, why are they so skittish, dude? Oh, he is skittish, man. They didn't want no part in that, dude. No part in it. Like every fish that I'm seeing, guys, they're not feeding. They're not moving. They're just sitting there. And then I throw on them and they spook immediately. Um, they're just not feeding. It's really unfortunate. Guys, I finally got one to bite, and I guess he just didn't uh, didn't have it all the way, man. 
That is just, oh, that's unfortunate. Oh, I got a fish on, fish on, fish on. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Finally got one of these bad boys to eat. Holy smokes. Guys, these fish are so frustrating today, man. You have no idea. And that's like the smallest one, even though, guys, look at that. that I mean, that's a beautiful little redfish. Sight fished right here. And there's literally 20 more going in front of me that are way bigger than this one. But honestly, for me to just capitalize on one of these, I'm happy. All right, I'm not gonna stop fishing. All right, let's let you go so we can go catch some more. These fish are so frustrating, guys. Like, uh, I've probably thrown at a hundred fish to catch one. Um, that's kind of uh, that's kind of what we're dealing with today. So it's very very rewarding when you do catch one, just because you're working so hard for these fish. So I am still on the hunt, guys, and there is a ton of mullet back in here. There is literally mullet everywhere, and that is a good sign. That is exactly what I want. Nope. <laughs> Red fishing. Red fishing. <laughs> I got just got him right as soon as you said something. That was so funny. Apparently so. You hey you you don't want him, do you? No, I need more than that. I got gotcha. you. He's a nice one. Nah. I'm just catching and releasing. Oh, never mind. He came unbuttoned right there at the back. <laughs> he came unbuttoned, man. Have a good one. You too. Guys, that was so freaking funny. I'm back here sight fishing i see this redfish okay and the guy on the bank yells at me he's like hey are you bass fishing and uh i'm like no nah. <laughs> and i didn't say anything to him because this redfish was about to eat my bait and he sure enough did man that was so sick and that was a nice fish that was the best fish of the day um got him boat side right there and the hook just pulled out i'm not concerned i was going to release him anyway but um or giving to that guy one of the two all i'm doing guys is just riding and looking that is it riding and looking doing this is such a challenge these are really the most frustrating fish in the world when they get in shallow water like this um, in florida like in crystal clear shallow water they're just so like they're so hard to catch I mean, that's what it boils down to. They are just so hard to catch. So when you do catch one, it's a lot more rewarding. Guys, there are so many fish right up here. Oh my goodness. I can see them from like 50 yards away and they're just kind of chilling on top. Like they are literally everywhere right up here. Got him, guys. Got him. Fish on. First cast. Up here. What did I tell you? What did I tell you? There are so many fish chilling right up in here. I'm just looking at them. And I don't even know what they all are. Oh, that's a nice trout. Yes, sir. Come here. Come here. All right. That's one. That's a, just a pretty little speckled trout right here. Let's see. If, uh, let's see if I can get some more without spooking them, guys, because there is, like, I don't know, like 50 fish chilling up in here.
got him. Another trout there, I think. Yeah, another trout. Guys, you can literally see these fish. Oh yeah. Oh my gosh, look at that. I just caught a mullet on an artificial lure. <laughs> Are you freaking kidding me? <laughs> look at that, it's a mullet. You can literally see So that was an interesting trip, guys. Man, I probably saw more fish today than I have seen in a long time. But what makes it frustrating is you're sitting there staring at like tons of trout and big redfish and they just won't commit. They just were not playing ball today. That's all it boils down to. <laughs> it just was one of those trips. However, because of that reason, that's why it was so rewarding when you, rewarding when you do hook a fish. I mean, it's like uh, you work so hard, see all these fish, finally hook up. I mean, it's uh, sight fishing is awesome, but you know, I say all that to say this, I would rather do that and catch two fish than, you know, blind cast and catch 15. It's just so much more fun to me. That's, that's what I love to do when I can see a fish and watch him actually eat that bait. That is so awesome. And guys, as I said earlier, I'm gonna be out of commission for probably the next seven or eight, day, eight days, unless we can get some good weather tomorrow, which it does not look like we're gonna get. So it may be a week or so before I put up another video. But as always, guys, shoot me a thumbs up if you enjoyed that video. Don't forget to smash that subscribe button. Hope each and every one of you have a great week.